What? What? Yeah! <laughs> is this on? Is this on? Is this on? Oh my goodness! Is this on? Is this on? <laughs> is this on? Bruh. What's going on, it's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and I'm here with the beautiful Michael Claire. The light! Look into the light! <laughs> Just give me uh, the light and pass the vibes! Uh, this episode <laughs> is did. called okay. Like the Light by Which God Made the World Before He Made Light. That is a mouthful. Matt. Full. Why would anybody make a title that long? That's just ridiculous. Because Listen, it has, re it, has, it has meaning. <laughs> that is one of the only things that's ridiculous about this series because it has been absolutely incredible. Thank you all for sticking with us. Uh, make sure you stay to the end because, you know, me and Michael Claire are going to chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth, if you will, over things we've enjoyed and things, you know, we may be scratching our heads about. So without any further ado, let's get started. Stay tuned after the show for an exclusive look inside the episode. Oh, this show, this show, this show. I love it. Why do you bring me so much joy? Thank Thank you, AMC. AMC. Every day. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> like the light by which God made the world before he made the light. That is a lie. Just give me the light. Just in case you're wondering. Oh, oh. Rashad? The real Rashad? Rashid? That's not Rashid. There was no postage on oh, the package. Never mind. With the tapes. Hmm. Rashid. See? Okay. But did you guys get to my mailman? Huh? <laughs> a little something for Christmas, but I mean... It obviously wasn't enough. Whatever they're eating looks really good. Looks like tofu. Rashid? Yes. Well, you Lego like tofu? Box. <laughs> Rashid, like, you talk too much. Well, why is he even having lunch with him or dinner with him? Rashid. Go ahead. They're going to turn you into broth bags because you couldn't hold it. <laughs> Hello. This, this guy is back again. No, he's like so wormy owl. looking. Yeah. yeah. He's got <laughs> such an untrusting look. The two Barcelos would fit. If we replaced the couch. I assumed we would. The couch, then the table. Then Love the... a good interior design. Mm. <laughs> How about DIY way, way wallpaper with the Hockney lemons? DIY way, way way? They look like they're about to introduce the new iPhone. Yes, they do. They're always in all black. <laughs> always. Who funds you guys? Do you work with nation states? Oh my gosh, Daniel. Daniel, take a, take a breath. You were a fly on the windshield. Yeah. You protect me? Oh. Mm, there's a question. No. Mm -mm. We're yeah. particularly poor at keeping our assets alive. Ah, at least they honest. I want to get out alive. You want a book? Mm. Both? You yeah. fear Armand. You should Excellent. feel the other one. Yeah, oh. see? Remember we were talking about? I think it would be disastrous. I think you've been masterful. I think... If I could mm. swap bodies with you, I'd be running the order by now. Dang, mm. homie. Wow. That's what you think. How's the soap agent, Rashid? We should be returning now. Oh, so he's the end. He's part of that. Yeah. Then perhaps he should have thrown the tapes away when he found them in his mailbox. Oh. Mm. Well, I was following your advice, wasn't I? I didn't want to bring the work's anxieties into yeah. our home. Or okay. you're recalling the events with bias because of the machinations surrounding it. The machinations? Hmm. Lead with a velvet glove Thanks, instead of an iron gauntlet was the advice. Indulge the buffoon were my words. Oh. Feed Santiago his own ego back to him. Goodness oh. gracious, feed the buffoon. What does it mean to die? Mm. Well, they're trying to address it before it gets out of control. Oh no, I get that. They're yeah. trying to give him his- That made me- Picture a silver clock. Well, she ain't want to be the little girl no more, so. It's quite lovely, Sam. <laughs> Even more what you're doing with it, Santiago. He's hating every minute oh, of this. Yeah. Thank you, Matt. Santiago. And I think they both know it, too. Oh, absolutely. They both know they're placating each other. Absolutely. Uh, Santiago is so stoic. What does it mean yeah. to die? I'm the, and the actor that's playing it, he's just yeah. killing that's it. That's what I'm saying. He's so, he's yeah. so stoic. Except a phrase. My eyes on him till curfew every night. I have lived now. In I would be Santiago. <laughs> you buy that? I buy that he'd been in power a long time. You can get lazy. It was love. 
Okay. I've been saying Ahmad's a terrible leader for how long? <laughs> <laughs> Still wanted to swim. You were not to leave Mr. Malloy alone. He didn't. Stood by the hand dryer like a creep. Why do you ask? Because he knows. Mm-hmm. Because I see what you were unable to see. Note to self, everything related to Claudia from this point forward is without written corroboration. Just our memories of her. Mm. However porous they come. Mm. That part. Look at him. Yeah, because he knows. A little more vermouth next time, Rashid. I can make another. No, it's good. It's just his were better. Don't, that, <laughs> you know how I feel about Daniel. <laughs> He'd be just poking the bear. Yeah, I'd be like, you, why would you kick a tiger? Like, I don't understand. Like, leave the tiger alone. <laughs> it will destroy you. I, I mean, I, I tell you how I feel about Daniel. Daniel would have been kicked out my house. Damn. Oh, come on, Claudia. You know Claudia's coming. She ain't gonna let this happen to her nah. friend. Mm, mm, like, mm. Whatever, whatever you say, Dick, you to convince yourself. Those look like um, made outfits. Made yeah, I think they are. Oh, oh, you saw? Yeah. Here's the light. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Claudia, about to put in work. Oh, she about yeah. to clock in. Oh yeah. Three for the price of one. <laughs> That wallpaper is horrible. Let's see. Oh, dang. oh, dang. Woo. But Madeline doesn't know, though, right? No. Okay, then. Not yet. Then. She about to, though. Gonna learn the date. Gonna learn. She might. She may not. Claudia may not show herself. Oh, no. There's no way you can hide this. Vampir. You gonna run? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my house. You Absolutely. run. Absolutely. I know. It would be pointless. A lot of noise just happened. Miller Paris. I got to clean up. Yeah. I can do it fast. I can do it right. But I need your help. If I don't clean up. You will be to start carrying his bag. You could be in some trouble. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. You better clean up, homie. Oh. Cost of saving your life. Yeah, I'm like, what do you do with that? Mm. I, I mean, I, I, yeah. <laughs> insightful human death in all its variety. What's blood taste like? You've bit your lip before, right? No. <laughs> I'm like, right? Yeah, but I don't drink gallons of it. Yeah. You know. Is it like drinking life itself? Sort of like thick and warm is what I could think of. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly. not the answers to life's mystery. It's food. I <laughs> need it. And me? Right now? You're my friend. You look like a steak. Along your veins? Mm. No, don't. No. Why do people get so fascinated with wanting a vampire to, like, taste them? I want your stars. You can't stop them. Oh. oh. She brought he she brought her back to their house. Yes, I'm the forbidden friend. Malin, this is Louis. She, girl, you have no idea how much danger you're in. That in that my part. Coffin. Pick her arms and throw her out the window. Pull up a chair. Let's start again. You're not supposed to tell. She's funny. She's blunt, and it's a long story. But I killed in front of her. Mm. See, and that's of course you did. That's against the rules. Is it romantic? No, no, not yet. Oh. oh. You were Lestat's, now you're Armand's. Right? Armand is mine. Mm. You see what I'm saying? No. I get to pick one thing for myself. And it's her. A weird white lady I met by happenstance. <laughs> <laughs> well, the crazy thing is, and then she's human. That's the interesting part about their, their friendship. Well, she's a reflection of what she wants to be. She wants to be a, a, a grown woman, a beautiful woman that has her own mind. It could do her own thing. She's a woman that has her own business. No, and, I get that. Know. But still, it's interesting that she chose a human. She does. Yes. He gets that. Yeah. No, he does. Yeah. To the to his core. I never made one before. Mm. I'm not sure if I can. No, not you. 
Me? Not, not the stats blood. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Good enough for us. Not good enough for her. Mm. Dang. Swore an oath. Trampled on the laws and I am to reward her for that it? part. Yeah. Vampire dressmaker? That part. Fuck you in their coffins, but she never fit in. They won't miss her. You think you're happy with me now? Can you imagine me without the burden of her? <laughs> He's trying to. Yeah. yeah. Paris is yours, Matra. I ask for this respectfully. They're probably being watched. Oh, absolutely. You know, Santiago. Mm. You're a manipulator, Claudia de Leon Koch. No. Mm. She. That's a big ask. It's huge. Yeah. yeah. Close your minds. Both of you. And I'm sure you don't I know just, it if you haven't. You don't just make people randomly mm. just because, you know no. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a whole thing. Tu aimerais être l'une des nôtres? Non, je vais être avec elle. Mais toi, tu peux aller te faire foutre. Dang, homie. Yeah, what the heck? Hey, I don't understand it either. That's just... <laughs> I don't get that. Si tu fais de moi un monstre, tu feras comme transformer en ce que je suis déjà. I've never seen anyone eat an apple like Ever. that before. Yeah, that was first. Yeah, that's interesting. It almost makes me want to go try. <laughs> Not me. That's too much work right there. I just cut it up. Did you mean it? A little bit. Does it matter? Yeah. I got the result. Yep. That's truth. Come on, Real conversation. conversation. There's been a wall. Young man. <laughs> Claudia, yeah, I, I think there's something left of my... Yeah, I think she's so. What the? She's masking it in fear, though, too, as well. I don't know. It's stronger. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Harder, too. Mm hmm. But you got to give up something to get something. Big fact. He's going to say yes. <laughs> I can't believe how she's. Being she's so I think it's because she's scared. I don't think so. Yeah. But she's trying to show control. That's the part that I don't know how I would even fathom with Claudia. Mm. Je trouvais l'amour dont j'avais besoin, même quand c'était un amour dangereux. And I have again. <laughs> He's like, you really think you you know it, don't you? <laughs> it's it's interesting because the way that they think about humans, a lot of the ones that they encounter are very much that. Que feras-tu? Ne regarde que des signes. Quand elle se jettera dans le feu. Parce qu'elle le fera. Hmm. I think she will too. She's just very tormented. Qu'elle le fera pas. T'en sais rien. Peut-être que je suis ce dont elle a besoin pour survivre. Goodness gracious, you give yourself a lot of credit, homie. He said no. I like the the blood red dress too. That's that's a interesting look. Like she's all in wrapped mm -hmm. in it. He said no. You heard that? Armand said no. He had never made one. Really? I have never made a vampire. And he hadn't told me. I did once. He didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> the legs crossed. Yeah, their the body legs language. Crossed. Yeah, absolutely. Louis' opinion. Claudia's opinion. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> like a referee. <laughs> mm. What I've learned, I've learned from draining men, reading their thoughts. So, so she can't make her. She's not strong enough. Oh, okay. Is your <clears throat> companion stuck up there chewing on your inhibits like a hamster? <laughs> Goodness <laughs> gracious, Santiago. I mean, Ahmad, it got some, some thick skin. Mm -hmm. I got to give him that. Mm -hmm. I've said even last episode, like, he can endure slights like. <laughs> when he's so powerful mm -hmm. that he literally could just be like. And there are no mentions in this script of projections. That's your cue, Sam. I... Ooh, Sam don't. Sam don't know what to do. <laughs> Sam, Sam, you better listen to the coven leader. 
We do horror shows so we can eat people. You're fangless. I love your work, Sam. Apologies. Well played, Matron. Oh, yeah, this is all part of the plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of this is part of his master scheme. Some of the front pages from that year. But if you look in the filler, in the back pages, strange crimes reported. Mm. Mm. Did you see what that said? In unison. Gone by the time police arrived by elevator. Crimes or left unsolved. Hmm. Are they gonna make a movie or something? I don't know. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. And Louis does have power over Ahmad momentarily, but he, in the grand scheme of power, he doesn't compare. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, he's playing mind games with Ahmad a little bit because Ahmad is weak of the heart. Oh, I get it. But if any of that ever gets fractured or swayed, it's a wrap. <laughs> I get it. But because he loves him, he has power, like yeah. way more power, which is saddening to me. It's the blood that made you. <laughs> That's the part that would scare me is seeing them dang fangs. I'd be like, oh, heck no. I feel like it would be painful. Is it painful? Interesting framing, right? Yeah. 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 Claudia drank with reverence. I drank with obligation. Mm. That's a line. The dark the time. Rage and, and humiliation mm. of a trial by mob. This is interesting. So I wonder if this is what uh, Lestat felt when he was draining um, Louis. Probably. Yeah. Beauty and damage. I saw Claudia mm. in an impossible afternoon light she could never survive in. Mm. With all certainty, I had done the right she thing. would be a better companion to Claudia mm. than I ever had. Mm. Yeah, she is. I kind of like it messy like that. Like, like when you give birth, it's just messy, you know, but it's still a beautiful thing. Mm. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I know that. Because I can feel her. Mm. Madeline. Mm. This stranger. Mm. She is a difficult one, but one worth having. Mm. You'll find your way back to each other. What's in the suitcase? We out. Yeah. Because Santiago... Crazy. I could have fought. They might have killed me. Oh, so they're telling him he, he's got to go. Bloodless vampire coup. The bloodless vampire coup. You broke with the coven? I didn't have a choice, yo. They gave me a choice. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I did have a choice, but you know what I'm saying. I chose. That's what you said to me, right? Standing in my blood, stroking my hair. <laughs> This is too important a moment in our story for these games. Mm. Mm. You've remembered what you did to yourself in San Francisco, and you're angry that I erased it. Mm. 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 He knows. Armand is not mm. oblivious. I am. Yeah. You've no right to me. You mm. asked me to do it. I believe that too. From you, Mr. Malloy. Mm. Why did I owe you my shame? That part. I owe you my one act of cowardice. Mm. That part. I didn't forgive you. Oh my god. Your cattle. Oh, Daniel, you don't you matter. Drugs did far more damage to your mind than five nights in San Francisco. It was Ooh. six. My point made. Yeah. <laughs> I asked you to erase it. Yes. 
after you came out of a shower in our home in Sausalito. Three days after we abandoned him. That dude loves you, man. He does. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no question about it. Continuing on the record, Mr. Malloy, I was a coward. Hmm. That dude is Saad Zaman, boy. He show up to set every day ready to eat. Oh, yeah, he's amazing. He's yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. I saw a dead girl in your mind while you were dying. We, oui, Amy, my sister. Oh. She the replacement? Mm, that's oh. a real interesting. And I didn't tell her about Amy because I didn't want her thinking. She you see the eyes now? Yeah. Wonder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wonder. This one. She had the straight line to the next X on the map? This is the X, Louis. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a bar. <laughs> She's like, I found what I was looking for. That's fascinating how you can interpret X as EX or mm -hmm. X marks a spot. Because, mm -hmm. you know, there's always a start like right here. No one is forcing me to listen what? to their gossips or solve their right? petty crises. Okay. Yeah, she looking crazy. Still, we didn't make it easy for you. I'm sorry for that. Well, you know how people feel about their makers. So she probably feels some kind of way. Yeah. Yeah. The architects of our... Uh, <clears throat> I made you. That's just the way it is. Yes, but I feel you, Nui. Mm-hmm. I told Claudia I can feel you enough, huh? And we should see him once more. I'm glad you did. I'm glad we did this. Mm. No. Wow. That's a compliment. Yes, he loves you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I feel, yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Perfection. I don't need his head getting too Look, 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 look at the vibe. <laughs> My man's just smitten. At least he knows. Yeah. Oh, oh. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you want him to know how much you love him? That part. Hmm. Oh, here comes some drama. Oh, absolutely. You knew what it wasn't gonna be that easy. What is she about to do? You knew it wasn't gonna be that easy. Oh, look, Whatever everything stopped. Chosen, except for them, yeah. Yeah, you in danger. Armand is too. What is in that bag, yo? Maybe Armand had to be part of it in order yeah. for, yeah. Remember he said they gave me a choice? He said, and he's talking about his moment of cowardice. Yeah. They gave him a choice. Yep. He chose. Ladies and gentlemen, men. What? The trial, huh? Only one performance. Uh Crimes For of the vampires, Louis years, and Claudia and their the head, theater, and their fledgling Madeline. You, you. And they're going to put it on a public spectacle out of it. Of course wow. they are. Wow. That's but a today, dope fit. I got to give it to them. We're that, shunting human society. You don't think that's kind of fly? No. For, that, for the time period? No. No? Okay. I don't like the blouse underneath. Everything else looks, looks okay. Okay. Today. We're turning our lurid spotlight on ourselves. This is wild. This man. Who in broad daylight. This man is brilliant. Matinee at the table. Santiago is a, yeah, yeah. To perform a for your Was it Ben Daniels yeah, is the actor? Yeah, he had to do a show ready to oh eat too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He should win like every yeah. award possible. Every Emmy. Yeah. <laughs> One night only. One night only. The jury may be seated. Oh, they're the jury. Ooh -wee. Making of a vampire from tall child. The making of a vampire. <gasps> what? <gasps> what? Mr. Junko. Yes! Thank you. <laughs> this is so this is so Oh my goodness. This is that. And the vampire is stamped. It was 
so sad. It's Bruh. so sad. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. So I don't I don't even so have so the words it's to so describe so how dope that was. It's so Dude, oh my let me God. tell you, up until that point, it was very slow for me. But what? Really? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk yeah. about it. Okay, yeah. go ahead, speak your mind. Speak your mind. I felt like this one was very slow huh. going. Okay. I was like, please, let's get something here. It was too, uh, it was too lovey-dovey? No, I love love. I, I love hearing their love story and all that stuff. It wasn't lovey dovey to me, other than the little bits of I can feel how much you love, you know what I mean? It was that, but I okay. mean, other than that, like I just, even like the turning of Madeline, I mean, I appreciate it. Cause yeah. you know, I feel like Claudia deserves that in a way, okay. I really do. Um, because of how much torment she's dealt with and she's just had a lot of uh, trauma and things that just, you know, haven't been going her way. Right. So I was, I'm kind of happy that that happened, but yeah. at the same time, I'm sad that Louis had to do it because now he's forever attached to this random woman. Ah, and really? So you think that's a bad thing? I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why, um, why do you think that's a bad thing? Because I mean, Claudia, I want Claudia to have something of her own. Okay. And then so, but it, everything is still attached now. Okay. You know what I mean? And I, and I feel like that's not really fair for her because, you know, okay. I just don't. I don't feel like it's fair. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the ending, yeah, the it, ending it, it made it all worthwhile. The ending, that's all I can say. The ending was bananas. It made it all worthwhile. Um, yeah, the ending, I didn't see coming in the in the beginning, too. Yeah. There's a, there was a bit of a um, an introduction to some cloak and dagger kind of things, mm. kind of feeling. There's an organization that's watching... Uh, that's watching Daniel. Mm. Uh, we got a chance to see who the mold is um, inside of uh, the Armand. The Rashid. Yeah. Um, and then we kind of like hopped into kind of like, you know, a couple or a family talking about the possibility of, of bringing in an, an, another young one. It felt it felt like that kind of conversation if we were talking about it like in modern mortal kind of like terms. Yeah. Like mommy and daddy are about to, you're thinking about having a kid and everybody's yeah. kind of like putting their head together to see how that goes. Yeah. Um, I thought it was interesting the dynamic of being able to feel the person that you've created like mm. to I guess mentally or physically feel it yeah. I guess whereas yeah. when you're a real parent it's more vague with that feeling mm. you know I'm, I'm assuming that that feeling the vampires have when, they, when they're talking about making somebody is considerably stronger. That's well, yeah. Right. I mean, they said you could feel you could feel their soul. I yeah. mean, that that is different than just being able to like, kind of feel their you know emotions or right. maybe what they might be thinking yeah. or whatever. This I mean, this yeah. is literal. Yeah. This is I feel your soul. I know exactly what you're thinking because mm. I can read your mind. Yeah. Type of situation, right? Um, Ooh, and, sorry, sorry. and then I thought it was kind of interesting to kind of like mix that dynamic of you know having a child, but then this is a grown adult mm. who's lived a life. An interesting life too, and then we get a chance to see, you know, her get saved by by Claudia, and then the the question gets introduced into making this this accepting the dark gift. I, I thought I thought it was kind of intriguing, but I could certainly I could certainly you know in hindsight while we're looking back at it, I could see how it's a little bit slower because there's not a lot of action. It's just a lot of introspective. A type of entertainment, and that's not necessarily, you know, we're still to put butts in seats per se. Yeah, you know? well, and it doesn't I can, have I can to. Understand it doesn't why. have to all be, you know, uh, uh, bells and whistles and all that stuff. But I just needed, I don't know, I just needed a little more okay. this episode. It was very, just very, kind of mellow. And I get, you know, that they had conversations about. Um, you know her wanting the gift i you know i didn't understand her disrespect to Armand. like there's a certain things that i was like what it, like there's a there's an arrogance and i don't know if this is in the book like explain please if it is please in the comments let me know okay but there's this arrogance with, with daniel 
There's this arrogance with Madeline. Yes. So it's it's like the humans tend to be very arrogant, and that part is annoying. It's not annoying. It's it's just very evident to me, and mm. I, it's just I don't understand how they can have not as much power as the vampires right. and feel like they could just talk any kind of way. Well, I, I'll even do one a little bit, go a little bit deeper. It, to me, it seems like that arrogance is more towards Ahmad. Ahmad mm. just gets disrespected at every turn, disrespected by people in his coven, disrespected by by Louis, Louis. and his like <laughs> I do what I want, I yep. you have to carry this bag of consequences. Yep. Disrespected by Claudia, Daniel, like everywhere he turns, and he's the most powerful powerful person on screen and everybody be like mushing this dude and then he's all like lovey they're like don't get me wrong i think the actor portraying it yeah. is brilliant oh, it's absolutely. absolutely yeah brilliant it's not yeah. a testament to the acting no. it's just the character and i feel like he just uh, he feels like a vampiric punching bag or something i'm thinking that the only reason that that could be possible okay is because of how he was brought up and made, right? Right. So his experiences aren't necessarily like That's a good point. with you know Lestat going to the opera and right. you know you, all these other things. Yeah, like he, was he didn't pimped out. He yeah, was a slave. Exactly. Yeah, he yeah. didn't have a good you know uh, foundation with his family. Yeah. It was like a whole thing. Good point. So that's the experience he knows of humanity, mm. and that's who he is. And then all of a sudden he was turned, and then you know now he's been this coven leader. You saw he was like in the in the depths of wherever they were. The last city he was in in yeah. the basement you know what i mean so yeah. it's like i feel like he just needs he doesn't have the experience that you know louis and claudia and lestat and some of the others have no i think you hit the nail right on the head you know um even though you may be immortal you know mm -hmm. childhood trauma carries oh absolutely you know and i'm sure even in the mind of a vampire that childhood trauma still would carry well, yeah because it does for claudia right yeah. yeah all that does yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um so Louis definitely walking tall. His back is straight. His head is high, and it's been like that for for a minute. Yeah. Um. So much so that he is powerful enough to create his own. Like, are you feeling his swag? You you feel you not feeling him anymore? Like, how what, what's how's the Louis gauge going? I feel like Louis kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. All right. I don't know why. I feel like he feels he thinks he knows everything. And he really knows not a lot of anything when it comes to the vampire life. To okay. me, I feel like he's just kind of claiming this power that I don't feel like he really has, to be honest with you. Mm. And I don't know where that comes from. I feel he's naive about danger. Oh, absolutely. Because I feel like Armad is like, yo, these folks is real. Like... They're not mm -hmm. playing around. And mm -hmm. the only reason why they're not getting at you is because of me. Yep. And he's just, you know, yeah. I'm Louie and I can walk the exactly. streets and do these and things that, how I feel. That bothers me. And now we're at the point now, you know, it's... Oh, you about to find out. You want them dudes to keep yeah. the door down? Now you in a burlap sack. You about to find out. <laughs> you about to find out what happens he, when you be talking talking yeah. reckless. Yeah, I mean, it's in and the person to do it, I think, is perfect. And that is Santiago. Santiago... That dude, like, I know I'm probably not supposed to like him. That part. I know I'm not supposed to, but the way he carried it. Oh, I like it too. <laughs> the way I he like carried it too, dude. When he was sitting down and he had his arms like this, yeah. and all you saw was pow, 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 <laughs> and his face, and he was telling the yeah. truth. I was like, dang, Santiago, yeah. you a bad mother. Let me see your wallet. Yo, and every and the thing, you know, and it's not just the way he carries, it's the way people respond around him too. Absolutely. You know, and he's the youngest. And he's the youngest. I was like, on top dang. of that, and which also leads me to believe that maybe Armand. You might not want that. You might not want that. That. that oh, work. I agree. You no, might I, not want them problems. Well, and that's why he chose what he yeah. chose because yeah. he was like, he's he like, doesn't want those. But he problems. even kind of admitted he was like, they probably could have killed me. You yeah, know, he could have. They, they all they ganged up on me. me. They could have set me on fire. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. However, he, you know, Santiago wanted, you know, what he's getting right now. Yeah, Santiago, three. man, he put down some. Some. He was like, all right, you want out? You got to give them up. All three. All of them. Not just one. Oh, and you and I found the start and brought him back. And ooh. <laughs> that's the only reason Louis ooh. is gonna stand a heck a, a half a chance. Well, yeah, Louis, right? Louis, like you, yeah. you, you, you Louis, ain't touching mine. Louis, got, like, you can have Claudia, and I don't even know who she is. Yeah, so, yeah, but Louis, <laughs> Louis, good. Louis, but you, you are not touching my Louis. But see, <laughs> yeah, let's stop. Yeah, let's stop. Let's stop. Yeah, but 
Oh, I kind of hate it because I'm like, because then again, Louis is going to feel like he's untouchable yet again. I don't know, but you know what? Me. But the Louis that we see now in these interviews mm -hmm. isn't that confident. He's not that. He's starting to become it again. The, 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 the he, one in the interview? Yeah, the more really? that yeah, the more that he's gaining these memories. I don't the way know. that he, he's starting to talk to Armand a little bit. Well, he's talking from a space of, of being injured because he didn't know that he couldn't handle the pain of the choices that he made to end his life. And out of the goodness of Armand's heart, in order to save his lover from self-destructing again, he wiped it and he's blaming Armand for taking what he thought was to take that liberty of, of mind controlling him. But what we're finding out, and this could be a lie too as well. I don't think it's it still a lie. could be. But what we're finding out is Armand is doing this because he loves him. He's like, you asked me to do this That's thing. what I was about to say. He didn't do it because he loves him. He did it because he asked him and because he loves him. But mm. I'm just Saying he yeah. asked him to do it. It yeah. wasn't like he just was like, and so I shall erase your mind uh, because <laughs> you do not want to know the pain. No. Yeah. You asked me, homie. Yeah. I loved like once again, I can't go on again or go on enough about uh Asad Zaman. Every scene that he's with, it, it the, the scene that he had even with um with Madeline, mm. and he's asking her the questions, mm. and he's like, Have you like in the back of his head? You know, I, you can hear him kind of saying, like, have you even really thought this through? Yeah, do like, you know what this entails? Do you know what this means? Yeah, yeah. You know, and she's a young mortal that doesn't know anything about anything. It swears that they that they do. Yeah. And that's I, so I think, you know, he was like, nah, I don't want that evil on me. You well, know? and they're not supposed to. You yeah, know what well, I mean? That like, too. Yeah, that I feel Coming like, rules. yeah, he's like, these are rules for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm not just going to. Just because you're asking me to do this yeah. doesn't mean that it's right for like all of our culture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, that's very true. So I, I kind of, res I, res I definitely respect Armand for making that decision. To yeah. be honest with you, yeah, he's like, I'm not gonna be attached to this my entire life. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. Oh man, such a really good episode. I know there's so much more I can say. I know. Say, but I know. I, but I think we can we can kind of close this out because I'm curious. Who, I can't wait to see what you all are going to see. Me too, uh, and the, the book section. readers too. Such a powerful. What did you, what did you all think regarding the episode as well? Uh, was it slow? Uh, did he meet your expectations outside of I know everybody for the most part is going to agree that Lestat showing up is the creme de la creme oh absolutely but you know um, outside of that you know would you would you like to have seen more action or is the introspect just a little too much or, or just enough I'm curious to know what the what the temperature uh, of the of this episode is and mm -hmm. even more so uh, how are you feeling about the series as a whole as you're getting a little bit closer uh, to the season finale uh, I think that's about it yeah, yeah I'm excited for next episode I'm not going to lie to you yeah it's Lestat Yo, Papa's home. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> That's what that means. Whoa, Daddy is home. Listen, if you've been enjoying the conversation that me and Michael Claire have been having, be a friend of the channel and hit that subscription button. And of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. And we got some new stuff coming out. Uh, we have a Discord coming out Ooh. where everybody can come in and you can pick your show, have conversations there. If there's other projects on the Sintel channel that you're enjoying, you can uh, hop in and there as well. We're going to do uh, live, live streams of our process so you can see how we can get down and maybe even possibly uh, have some input uh, that we will respond to while we react. We're still working out some of the details, but it should be tons of fun. Now, if you want to get to know Michael Claire a little bit better, Michael Claire. Join in on the Discord. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no. um, and also, there will be a link in the description to my social media platforms. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. So, listen, if you are curious about uh, the Discord, just hop on over to the Patreon. There is a free version of the Patreon, and it will keep you updated as well when we do release the Discord, hopefully within like another week or so. I'm looking forward to actually meeting and talking to some of you, maybe even seeing some of you faces if that's what you want. Uh, so with that being said, we'll catch you on the next episode. All right, y'all take care. Peace.